You'll see the two on the bottom there and that 45 ACP. This is actually putting up a pretty good fight. I wonder if we're gonna make it up to those bigger targets. Firing. Hey, what's going on guys? Brandon here with Texas Plinking and I'm shooting this video late December, but I think I'm gonna be uploading this as the first video uh, for 2020. So I think we're gonna start out pretty exciting. So as the title suggests, it's gonna be a pretty fun video. It's one of those fun ones where we work up and ramp up with calibers and show off a lot of guns. I've pretty much had these display grenades since I was like a little kid. And I've always wondered how they would withstand a bullet. Uh, now an actual grenade with, you know, explosives and whatnot in there, you know, it's always a myth that when you shoot it, it's gonna explode. Now for one, these are obviously drilled out so they're empty. If you guys thought you guys were gonna see some explosions, stick around, we still have some tannerite, so won't let you guys down. But the grenade itself, if you want to get a close-up, it has like pretty thick walls on it and they're pretty darn heavy. So I've had these laying around and I'm wondering how small calibers and all the way to the big stuff will act. Uh, but I've got this pineapple grenade, one of these ball grenades, baseball looking grenades, and then one of these like older World War II grenades. Again, all of them drilled out. Uh, but you could buy these for like 10, 11 bucks at pawn shops or surplus stores or online. I'm assuming, you guys can leave your guesses in the comments, I'm assuming we're gonna you know, shoot that uh, through that pretty darn easily, especially with the rifle calibers. So we brought other targets and we're really gonna hopefully be testing these out to see what can stop a bullet as far as steel targets. I went on shootsteel.com, uh, same people that actually supplied all the silhouettes I've been shooting on the ground here. Uh, long range is different, but as far as on here, they're all shootsteel.com. And I'll leave some annotation up here that you guys can actually use the coupon code and save 10% at shootsteel.com. So they're a big supporter of the channel. Anyway. Uh, I went ahead and bought this myself though because I didn't want to tell them that I was going to try to make their products fail. So hey, that'll be fun. But this right here is AR400 steel. Once that fails, we are going to move up to this heavy, heavy stuff. This is, I think, three quarters of an inch thick of, I don't even know if it's AR550 or if it's stronger because this on shootsteel.com said it's just rated up until 50 BMG. Just in case we rip through that thing with some special ammunition we have though, I have two. So we'll uh, double up. And just to get a baseline, I have this little metal. I was raised to believe if you're not first, you're last. And this is second place from K1 speed. That's no good to me. So we're gonna try to see what goes through that. All right, we're just backed up, just about maybe 25 feet away. One shell's all it takes. Let's go ahead and uh, just get a nice center hit here. Oh, it might've stopped it. If you got second place and then put this over your heart, got shot by birdshot, you'd be just fine. A little cracked, but not a problem. All right, uh, I can't stress enough how terrible of a shot I am with the Ruger LCP. It's double action only. It's poppy, even for a little 380. Excuses out of the way. I got six shots in here. That might not be enough. Oh, right on. So 380 ACP for this little novelty racing metal, right through it like butter. So time to move up. Now let's do some grenades. I have the uh, lemon grenade attached here. So that's kind of a cool little target. So let's start back again with the 380 since we know it made it through that little novelty metal. See what happens to the lemon grenade and then we'll start moving up to some real calibers. So uh, again, hopefully I can hit my mark. That was a good hit. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? So what I've seen from cast iron is that it won't even dent or anything. It just won't scuff or barely a scuff until something will go through, then it really goes through. But 380 didn't even make a little divot in a grenade. All right, we're moving up to real calibers now, starting with a nine millimeter. Um, this is a brand new one. This is a Smith & Wesson EZ9 from the M&P Shield series. I think I was a little high on that when I hit it though. Let's get a center hit. That was a center hit. Jeez, that feels good. I like that. Same exact shot placement. The first one was high, so it kind of messed up the, uh, the top end of it. We could still screw that in. But look at that, two hits right on top of each other. Nine millimeter went through the cast iron skillet. It's not going through my first grenade. Smith & Wesson, this is the Performance Center SW1911. Really, really nice. The Performance Center with the lightning cuts, the blue grips on stainless looks to kill. You'll see the two on the bottom there and that 45 ACP. This is actually putting up a pretty good fight. I wonder if we're gonna make it up to those bigger targets. But uh, yeah, that's dead center right there, not a single divot. So once it gives, it'll give. All right, moving up to a 10 millimeter. These are pretty potent rounds, especially with a longer barrel out of this little carbine length. CMMG Banshee Mar Mark 10, uh, which is the 10 mil, obviously. Love this thing, little EOTech on top of it. It's a really cool package. Let's see if we can hurt that grenade some. Ooh, 
made it fly up some. So in short, it stopped it. That's the hit from the 10 mil, and we could see a little hairline fracture running through it. So it did stop it though. We kind of hit it at like the, probably the toughest part of it though, but that's a pass from this one. All right, moving up to some Magnum cartridge now in the form of a 357 out of a Smith & Wesson 686 Plus. I'm surprised though, uh, so far that it's uh, stopped everything, but uh, Magnum cartridge, let's see, 357. Ooh, that didn't look like it fared too well. The fact that I have to search for all the pieces of the grenade kind of speaks to that. All right, so the grenades aren't faring too well with the Magnum cartridges, and it's only gonna get more powerful from here. So we got some AR-400 steel from Shoot Steel, like I mentioned, 44 Magnum, first shot. Let's see what happens. Now, like I said, this is rated to pistol calibers. This is technically a pistol, but you know. Ooh, that's some ring to it. All right. We got a new challenge now. So yeah, it stopped it obviously, uh, clean on the other side, but that's not so clean. I feel like a little bit of a divot there, but pretty flat, not too bad. It could take quite a bit of 44 Magnum. So let's move up to some big stuff. You guys know that the 50 AE was coming. This is probably the point that you guys are expecting me to show a gold desert eagle. Well, you're right, but I also have a new friend. The Black Tiger 50 AE Desert Eagle. All right, it's been a minute since I've shot a Desert Eagle, and usually when I shoot them, it's at big fruit targets. Uh, not trying to go so precise. I'd never shoot steel with it, but let's see when three shots. First shots with it. Let's see if I could hit that. That was a hit. I just heard it. Ooh, the fireballs on that thing. Not only a hit, pretty darn centered hit, too. And pretty darn flat. I feel a little bit of a divot, but not much. All right, moving up to the 500 Magnum from Smith & Wesson. This one is a fun one, but same deal. I usually shoot this thing at like large fruit and I don't have to be too precise. Let me uh, try to calm down here. Oh boy. God damn. I can't really tell where that hit just because we caked it with dirt. Just to be safe, let's shoot it again. Wow, that's so tough to tell where it hit. So I guess that kind of tells you that it's not too affected by it at all. All right, the rifle stuff starts to pack a punch because of the speed. So we're gonna do some 5.56 green tip here. Ooh, that's some sparks. Oh yeah, now we're starting to pack a punch here. Green tip, 5.56, put a divot. Knowing this is quarter inch, you know, it doesn't really have too much more to give, but that's a good divot in there for sure. Um, so let's just move up to some larger rifle calibers, but. That's a pretty good one, looking promising. All right, next is a 7.62x51 or a 308. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do that with the new 17S I just picked up or the M1A National Match, so let's just do both. All right, I made a video with my 16 and my 20. These are the first shots out of my new 17, waiting on the optic, but in the meantime, let's try to run these iron sights. Oh, there it goes, it went flying. Springfield Armory M1A National Match. Let's try it out. Again, that green tip did more damage. Odd. All right, let's keep moving up. 7.62 by 54R. Yeah, that one put the hurting on this one as well. Uh, not as deep uh, as the green tip 5.56, but definitely a bigger splat, but definitely put a divot in there. Got a couple more tools up my sleeve, so uh, let's try it out. Remington 700 uh, AAC. SD and 6.5 Creedmoor 22 inch barrel in the AI chassis. Arkin Optics EP4. I made a whole video on this thing. Check it out if you guys want. But a really, really cool package here. What a nice shooter. 6.5 put a decent little chunk in there, but nothing compared to the 54R or the 5.56. All right, we have got a Mauser 98K uh, from World War II, 1943, German Mauser. Loaded up with some 8x57. Ooh, that was a hit. What a gun. All right, I'll be honest, of my normal rifles, that's kind of the end of it. But uh, I thought I'd be using the AR-550 or the 50 BMG stuff by now, but we're just gonna have to see what a 50 BMG does to some AR-400. Iron. 
All right, finally, we caused some damage to the AR-400. So you guys can see that right there. Uh, 647 grain full metal jacket, put the hurting on that. So that's retired. Let's go move up to the 50 BMG rated stuff, see how that acts with the ball. And we got the special round, so let's do it. 50 BMG rated steel with a 50 BMG. Shouldn't be too crazy. Let's try it out. God damn. All right, sure enough, I barely feel that divot, but I, I do feel it. And again, if you're going to be shooting 50 BMG at this, you're probably backed out pretty far. We're pretty close, but it just polished it off nicely. Obviously, the second one's unscathed because look at the back end of this. You know what that means? All right, that was a good center hit, so I trust it. If I miss the next two, I'm going to be so sad. Hit the first slick when you follow me on Instagram. So, uh, shameless plug. Slap round. I only have two of these. This would probably be the only one I shoot. The other one's just for display. Um, they're like... 50 bucks to 100 bucks each. So I, I got away pretty good with this one, but still, if I miss, I'm gonna go cry. Yep. Uh oh. Oh no. What happened? Oh, uh, that's about the worst thing that could have happened. Problem is, where's that bullet right now? All right. Well, we're dealing with this issue live. I put the slap round in there and uh, it didn't feed reliably, so I had to mortar it. And then out came that. That is no bueno. Which means the bullet might be in there. That would be absolutely terrible. All right, so we broke it apart and uh, bad news. The slap round, we pretty much have a tungsten bullet with the plastic shroud stuck in here. Look down the barrel. This thing's down for the count for now. So probably have to address this a different day. So it's a different day, like I said. So we're just gonna make sure it's still zeroed before I said the Ralphus round, the slap round no good obviously so we're not going to try it again with another one uh we're just going to go full metal jacket again just to be sure all right firing all right i better hit this because that's about a 65 to 100 dollar bullet more or less but uh moment we've been waiting for all right firing see the sparks on that man look at all that smoke that's from the explosion from the Ralphus round that's insane wow holy crap holy crap we're gonna have to get a close-up of that so other sides obviously fine but look at that I bet you that's pretty warm and eh, not really actually but that I don't know I'll have to measure that but look at my pinky go that's a pretty good divot just for reference, that's a 50 BMG ball round. That's no joke. That obviously messed up the AR-400 steel. Um, if this was normal AR-500 or AR-550 half inch, it would have probably been poking out that other side if not gone through. But three quarters of an inch, I guess, was enough. Well, that's it for the steel targets. Again, if you guys want some, I'll throw a code so you guys could save 10% on shootsteel.com, but we're not done yet. I promise explosions, and that was one of them. All right, FN SCAR 16S or the light. Load up with some 5.56. Hopefully I hit my mark here. There's a target somewhere back there. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Like I said, I figured that'd be kind of a fun way to start off the uploads for the rest of this year anyway, 2020, because 2019 was pretty darn fun. But anyway, kind of approaching this year with about 580,000 subscribers or so, and the channel is still growing really fast, and I just can't thank y'all enough for it. But all about recreation, nothing too serious, and I think this one was pretty fun. So that does it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you on the next one.